Hey guys, it's Kwa. One of the coolest things I've always wanted in my house was an awesome home theater. I just bought a new house a few months ago, and so that's given me the opportunity to build my dream home theater. Let me give you the grand tour. So before I get into it, this was once an unfinished storage room in the basement. And after spending a couple months framing it, running the electrical and AV wires, treating it with sound absorbing insulation, and hanging the drywall and applying the paint, this is what it looks like now. So let's start off with the speaker setup. I'm using Pioneer Elite Dolby Atmos enabled speakers in a 5.1.4 configuration. These are full range speakers consisting of two floor standing left and right front speakers, a center channel, and two bookshelf rear speakers. The front left and right speakers have three 5 inch bass drivers to help deliver bass all the way down to 38 Hz. Pioneer calls this their concentric driver. It's where the tweeter is in the middle of the mid-range driver and kind of acts like a waveguide so that it offers more precise and accurate sounds. The 0.4 in 5.1.4 means that there are four Dolby Atmos enabled speakers. A concentric driver sits on top of the speaker allowing the sound to reflect off the ceiling down to your ears giving you this height effect. The result is sound that is three-dimensional and more immersive and dynamic. Delivering all the bass is an elite subwoofer. It's a sealed enclosure with a 10 inch long throw woofer powered by a bash amplifier outputting a peak 600 watts of power. The bass is responsive, tight, and deeply satisfying. To further treat the acoustics in the room, around the walls I've built DIY acoustic panels. They help minimize reverb and echoes that could diminish or color the sound quality of the speakers and help improve the clarity and imaging of the surround sound. All of the speaker cables are also DIY and terminated with gold-plated banana plugs and dressed in a black TechFlex wrap to give it a nicer aesthetic. I'm storing all of the electronics in this beautifully designed BDI Ola media cabinet. The modern curves, the glass, the wood probably makes it one of the best looking media cabinets out there. There's ample storage space for the receiver and several other devices. The shelves and backside are ventilated to prevent overheating and I can easily remove the back panel to get access to the cables and ports. The brain of this home theater is powered by the Pioneer SC LX901 Elite Receiver. This is Pioneer's flagship model in their lineup of Elite receivers that are built to higher quality audiophile grade standards. It's an 11.2 channel receiver that supports all the latest video and streaming standards like 4K upscaling and pass-through, HDR, Apple AirPlay, and Google Chromecast and even the newest 3D sound formats like DTS-X and Dolby Atmos. With 8 HDMI inputs, I've got plenty of room for my devices, like the Samsung 4K Blu-ray player, my PS4 and Xbox One. There's even a dedicated phono input for my turntable. Now onto lighting. I'm using 6 LifeX Wi-Fi enabled LED bulbs that can be controlled through the LifeX smartphone app. With the app, I can control the color and brightness of the lights independently, Turn on and off individual lights, create lighting presets, and even apply a color theme to match the mood. For the best seats in the house, and to get that home theater vibe, I got the Rialto home theater seats from Seatcraft. The nice thing about these seats is that you can have three different seating positions. I can sit upright for when I need to be alert for gaming, or I can relax all the way back for movie time. The screen I'm using is a 120 inch 16x9 fixed frame screen from Silver Ticket. Sitting back and looking at the screen, it offers a visually immersive experience, almost like I'm in an IMAX movie. And powering that immersive image is the Epson Powerlight Home Cinema 5040UB. This projector supports 4K content using Epson's 4K enhancement feature, it has a 1 million to 1 contrast ratio and accepts HDR content to provide realistic detail in the darkest scenes and the brightest brights. So to control all of these devices, I use the Logitech Harmony Elite Remote. With this remote, I can make custom activities and scenes so that with a single tap, it turns on all the associated devices, sets the proper input on the receiver and projector, and then dims the lights to set the mood. 
What's also really cool are these convenient home control buttons that I've mapped to the LifeX lights. So a tap and a hold turns off the lights, and a short tap turns the lights back on. I can also control things with the Amazon Echo through voice commands. Here I've got the Echo Dot inside the room, and I've got another Echo just outside. So if I'm outside the room, I can say, Alexa, turn on the Roku. It starts the watch Roku activity from the Logitech Harmony, and then when I come inside the room and sit down, I'm ready to start watching. So putting all this tech together, it combines to make a smart, immersive home theater experience. Gaming on a large screen like this, I don't think I could ever go back to gaming on a smaller screen ever. The larger format just puts you directly into the action. Watching a 4K movie is simply superb. The image is more detailed, colors are more vivid and realistic, and with Dolby Atmos, there's sound around you and above you, creating a more intense and immersive audio experience. So that's the tour of my home theater. I hope it's giving you some ideas for your own home theater setup. And if you liked it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.